Three people have been killed and 14 others injured in a Russian airstrike in eastern Ukraine's city of Kostyantinivka. Kyiv says that Moscow targeted residential buildings as buildings, garages and civilian cars were also damaged. Earlier, in an alleged Ukrainian strike, a hospital in the occupied Luhansk region was struck, leaving 14 dead and 24 others injured. Russia called the attack a war crime. North Korea, meanwhile, has criticized the United States' decision to send tanks to Ukraine. Pyongyang called it a criminal act against humanity, while Washington alleged that this is a baseless effort by North Koreans to justify their own military aid to Russia. Now, according to a national security spokesperson for the White House, the U.S. intelligence has photographs which show Russian rail cars entering North Korea and leaving with infantry rockets and missiles before returning to Russia. Washington deems the Russian Wagner Group as a transnational criminal organization, citing its weapons dealings with Pyongyang in violation of United Nations Security Council resolutions. In response, North Korean officials denied the allegations and warned the United States of really undesirable results if it continues. On the other hand, after Ukraine won promises of Western battle tongues, it is now seeking fighter jets to push back against the Russian and pro-Moscow forces, which are slowly advancing along paths of the front line. Припинити цей російський терор було би можливо, якби ми могли забезпечити відповідні ракетні сили наших військових, щоб у терористів не було відчуття безкарності. Україні потрібні далекобійні ракети, зокрема для того, щоб прибрати цю можливість окупанта ставити десь далеко від лінії фронту свої ракетні установки, знищувати ними українські міста. A White House national security advisor says United States will be discussing the idea of supplying jets very carefully with Kiev and its allies, whereas Germany's defense minister this week ruled out the idea of sending jets to Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is also redoubling his efforts to stop Russian athletes from participating in the 2024 Olympics, saying they would try to justify the war against Ukraine if allowed to compete. 